bonding, the wire base of the outrigger is heated and lightly embedded in the thermoplastic where the location of the outrigger was marked. A layer of thermoplastic is bonded over the outrigger base. Rivets may be used to reinforce the attachment, but this is not essential if good technique is used in bonding. The nylon line of each finger cuff is folded at the thinner area to be threaded through the wheel. Then the nylon is creased at the thick portion in order to center the static line which will be attached. A static line, string or nylon, ties each finger loop to the post. Length is adjusted so that the patient can achieve full extension of the fingers as the wrist is at neutral. A line connector or fisherman's knot can be used to fasten the nylon line. The hex wrench is used to release the set screws of each wheel. A wheel is centered over each finger. Then proximal distal adjustment is set to provide a 90 degree angle of pull as the fingers rest in extension. A full 3 fourths inch of adjustment is possible. The set screw is tightened to hold the position. It is not usually necessary to support the thumb in an outrigger. The wrist cannot move into extreme flexion to overstretch the thumb extensors and abductors. The median nerve innervated intrinsic muscles of the thumb partially or fully extend the interphalangeal joint, and the wrist motion will pull the thumb away from the palm. The palm of the hand is open, and full range of motion of the fingers is possible. So the splint is an aid in maintaining joint motion and functional use of the hand. As re of wrist extensors occurs, the splint provides for active assistive function.